Again, everyone has access. So uh, good evening. Thank you for joining us on a quick Google training. My name is Ninja Mike, OG original geek online since 89. I do all things internet. And I want to introduce you to some tools you may not be aware of that are absolutely free through Google that'll save you literally hundreds of dollars every month without buying expensive software, learning new tech, or trying to connect things to Google Sheets when you can just go directly to Google and do that. So we're going to open up the screen one. Again, if you'd like to follow along, we're going to use Chrome. So feel free to open up your Chrome and you can follow along. As you do this, if you want to do a training, have at least one extra monitor. So your main monitor and possibly a second or third monitor if you have that ability. If not, then again, this will be recorded. Take your notes. And here we go. Now I have mine up and down, so forgive me for looking up. So how this works is number one, you're gonna to need to have Google Chrome. So you're gonna, if you don't have a Google account, you're gonna to go to accounts.google.com. And once you're logged in, you'll see your account here. And you'll see these nine buttons. When you click here, these are some of the Google options. You have Drive, Play, Your Account, YouTube, My Business, Hangouts. Uh, there's a big slew of apps that you're allowed to have. So today we're going to start with Google Drive. Google Drive is cloud software. If you don't have a paid account, you get 15 gigs. That's right, count them. 15 big, powerful gigs of random stuff that you can host on your drive. That's completely free. You can update from anywhere between $5 and $50 a month for unlimited space. So for this purpose, under the word drive, you'll see the word new. Now under new, these are some of the Options, you have Google Docs, that is equivalent to your Microsoft Office. Google Sheets, this is, I'm sorry, Docs is equivalent to your Word, Word, Word Perfect or any Word Processing Center. Sheets would be the equivalent to Excel. Now Google Slides, this is fun. I'm gonna make a separate class on Google Slides, but this is the equivalent to PowerPoint. Now what's different with Google Slides is if you use Google Slides to make a presentation, you can go live hosted by Google, and you can have your own webinar without the need for webinar software, including a personalized URL for question and answer session. But today we're going to work with Google Forms. So I'm going to show you both sides. When we go to Google Forms, I'm going to go to the templates, and we're also going to go to blank. But from the templates, this is where the most commonly used ones are. So you can do a contact form, which will work for your squeeze page. You could do a course evaluation. So at the end of one of your trainings online, you can send somebody to this URL and make a course evaluation. You can make an order form if you're taking e-commerce, event registration. So if you have a webinar coming up, people can go there. T-shirt, you can do a scheduler, RSVP for an event, party event, T-shirt sign up. Again, most people you'll see this online when you're just getting some easy information. But when you're here, I'm gonna show you how to decorate and make it into a landing page. So I'm gonna start with a contact information form, which is the best one to manipulate. So you're gonna double click on that. And here we are. So again, this goes right into your Google Drive. Again, automatically saved. So right now I'm gonna save this as a sample landing page. So we're gonna type sample landing page. And that'll save there. Now, your prerequisites. Before we start anything, I want to show you when you go new Google Docs. Again, that would be the equivalent to a Word document. I recommend starting here. So then you can start your landing page copy. So you want to know what you're going to say on the landing page, the questions you're going to ask. So for this particular exercise, we're just going to make a opt-in page, just name, email, phone number, and then maybe a couple of bonus items. So here's what I'm going to do. I've written down all the questions I want to ask, and I've written down links to YouTube videos. So we're going to need that for later. So if you're going to say, hey, do you want access to the greatest trainers of all time? This box set was only available to Edgecom members and will never be available to the public. That's going to be one of my offers for this page. So we, we can change here when we want to edit. So the first part of this is going to be my landing page copy. So I'm going to say, hey, work with Ninja Mike. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to change this to work with Ninja Mike. And a description. 
He's going to be learn how to use Google making landing page to host videos. So I'm going to copy that. And we're going to paste it here. Now what it's going to ask for when you see the star that forces you to have a required or not required. So name would be required and then just short answer for name on the side. You'll see that you can add questions. You can import questions. We can add a title and description. We can add an image. We can add a video or we can add a section. Now the add section part, which is here, that's what's going to make this either a one page or multi page landing page or multi page quote unquote funnel. So I'm going to show you how to do a multi page today. So the required is going to be your name, email address, house address. We don't need, we're going to delete that phone number. We're going to leave that optional. Now, what I want to do is make a landing page for my business to work with me one on one at a content creation weekend. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a section. So I want a title and description here. So I'm going to go back and I want to know, do you want access to some of the greatest trainers of all time? So I'm going to ask you that. And then your short answer. Now you can do a short answer, a grid, a multi box or a check box. So if you do short answers, that's basically your yes or no's or multiple choice. I'm going to go multiple choice. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. And here I can go a section. So now once they say yes or no, they're going to go to section two. And I can go back to my copy and I can basically show you my picture. So here's going to be how to work with me or how to get your bonuses. So again, whatever your, let me let some people in here. So whatever your option is, you could just type it in there. So give me one second, I can let some people back in the room. Okay. So how to get your bonus. And I've already written that. And here's how you get your bonus. So what I want to also do is add a video here so you can see what the bonus is. So you can either do a video search through YouTube or if you have a direct link to your YouTube, again, this only works with YouTube. And because I have my YouTube link ready to go, I can copy this, paste the YouTube. And now my video is going to be ready to be in there. So again, if you, if you see these, other software companies where you have to add a video, this is exactly what you would do. So if you don't have your specific offer, just make your pitch video, your, your 30 seconds to two minute video, and then you can basically make the words around it. And all you really need is a opt-in for a name, address, and phone number. For editing purposes, the three dots, I can make this a line center. I can put on left side or right side or remove it. So I'm gonna put that in center. I probably gotta put it down, Steve. Did you have a question? Where the other stuff I know I'm going to have to. Okay. We don't have to write anything on the, on the title, but I can actually, because this is my video of watch promo. They can watch the promo of my video here. But when I'm here, I can also add a picture of the box set. So if you have on your Google Drive all, the, all your photos, so you can just scroll through and here's the digital box set. And then here's the video. Again, you can put it in any order you want just by dragging it. So maybe I want to drag this up here first. Let, let them see how to get the bonus first. And then they can watch the video. And then I could ask different questions. Again, you could do the add your own questions. Again, import questions. You could actually copy other other sections. 
So this is basically how you do it. It's like, work with me. Yes, I want to work with you. And then great, if you want this bonus, this is where you'd say, okay, name, address, phone number for an application. So for the comments, what I want to say is, why do you want to work with me? So, hey, why is now the right time to do this? And you'll have the ability to ask them that, and then they can write an actual answer. And this is going to be required, especially if you're doing an application for something big. And then we could do another question. Are you ready to invest into yourself and your business? And we want to say basically your yes or no's. I'm going to make that required. And let's do uh, one more question. For priority, are you ready to start on Monday, May 11th? Because this is going to help you on the application process. And it gives you suggestions. So yes, no. And this is going to be a required answer. I'm going to leave this pretty short on this one, but I'm going to make uh, one more. So let's get rid of this one. Now, if you'll notice here on the top, you have theme and you can preview and settings. So let's go to theme. We can change the header, which is that top image. I want to use a, I'll show you that this is stock. This is all the stock photos that come along. If you have Canva, you can use your own or make your own. But then they give you ones that already work. You can upload from wherever you are, or you can use your own photos. So I'm going to use the photo I have uploaded here. I'm going to put just my name. And if you want to change the background colors, you can do it through here. Background color white. I like white. Your font style, you can go decorative, formal, or playful. And when you're ready to send this to somebody, you can send it through email. You can link it through if you're doing like a text message or if you're showing something on YouTube, Facebook, here's a link to apply. You also have embed. So if you have a WordPress website, you can have a one page post to and embed that all this code and it becomes its own landing page. So you can have your website.com forward slash apply. And then you can just go from there. So again, that's a, that's a free one. And it's, it's the form's just going to collect email addresses. You could also hit the automatic Facebook button and you can share this link and it'll go right on your profile. You can share it to your private groups or your public groups. So if I do hit the share button, it'll allow me to put it into any group that I'm an admin of or any group that I'm in. So I can share it to the news feed. I can share it in my groups. And again, that's automatic. So let's get the URL. Let's preview. And that's it. So I'm going to show you where, where does this stuff go? So that's the big question. So I'm going to put my name in here. I want to work with the greatest trainers of all time. I'm going to watch the bonus. Give you all my information. Yes, it's now. I'm ready to invest in myself. I'm ready to start on May 11th. Submit. Now, is edit your response. If you want to keep this where they're forced to use their Google account, you can say you can only submit one time. You can put that key on, and I'll show you where that is too. But otherwise, if you leave it open, they'll have the ability to edit. So on the response, on the, excuse me, on the responses, If you want to limit to one response, you're going to click this button and then they'll be forced to sign into Google and they can only do it one time. I'm going to leave it where they can edit after they submit or you can take that off where once they have their answers, that's it. And if you'd like them to see other people's responses, you can click this button. Now, when you get responses, you'll see this icon here. That is Google Sheets. So you click on the Google Sheets and it's going to automatically make you a brand new spreadsheet.
We're going to create that brand new spreadsheet. And now all of your opt-ins will be neatly placed into a spreadsheet. And it, and, it, and it is that easy. So I'm going to dump the screen share, open it up for any couple of some more people in here. Sorry. Okay. I don't know. All right, I'm going to unmute everybody. All right. If you if you have background noise, just mute yourself or I'll mute everybody else. Let me check my chat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Any questions on that, on how to create your own landing page? It was very informative, Mike. All right, somebody, somebody's making turkey bacon. I think that's Cindy, Cynthia. Oh. <laughs> was that Sinceri that asked me that? No, no that was Stacy. Uh, Stacy, okay, Stacy, you have any, any specific questions? No, I don't have any questions. I just wanted to say thank you. It was very informative. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna pause the record on this one. Okay.